where do I find my satisfaction? And, you know, that's the quote is that mm. God, I heard a preacher say, God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied mm. in him. Mm. And I love that thought because I go, okay, so joy doesn't come from whether this goes my way or whether that person understands me or whether the sun is shining or not. Joy is actually, it comes from I'm satisfied Beautiful. in you, God, yeah. in your presence. Beautiful. And we've had to fight really hard to to protect that joy. And not just in our situation, I'm sure in many situations, in of church course, life, in ministry, because yeah. the enemy would love to rob your joy. Yeah. Hence why it brought us back to young and free. You know, <laughs> like that's where, that's why we thought mm. we need to bring joy back, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and I, I think it's just a big part of <laughs> mm. our story is never allowing joy to be robbed from I us, think, right? Interestingly enough, I had a moment the other day because yeah. we're in a really good place. And, you know, obviously there's moments and you feel the weight of, you know, the challenges and so on and the pain. Of of course, we have those moments, but we're in a really, really, really special place right now. And I had this moment where I was like, oh, no, I'm getting I'm getting away from that place of wilderness. And I was sad about it Hmm. because of the deep fulfillment and satisfaction of growing in intimacy with the Lord Mm. in that place of just like utter brokenness. Mm. And I was like, oh no, like I'm, I'm getting far. I need, I I never want to get far away from that place. I never, I never want to get too far away from that place because it was so holy. It was so, it was so beautiful. And, you know, I think, um, I describe that place as, you know, a wilderness. And, and I remember, I didn't, I didn't know that that's what it was uh, for a bit. It took me a second to realize that's what, that's what it was. But I remember just going like, where is, I remember saying to Pete, like, where is everybody? Like, why, why isn't someone like, why aren't people coming to our rescue? Like where I was just waiting for people to turn up. And it was a time of aloneness and, and Mm. in, in some senses, loneliness, but the moment that I shifted my thinking and I saw, okay, no, this is actually an invitation. The, the wilderness is an invitation from the Lord mm. to grow in intimacy with him. And uh, mm. as painful as it was, I just am so grateful for it mm. because of what, I just, I can't even, I can't describe, I can't describe what that has been. And yeah, and we're we're here, you know, we're here. No, you're here. You're not just here, you guys are doing amazing things. Yeah, we're here. So I can't help but when mm. I'm talking to you, and this is a little bit of a sidetrack, but Mm. I think it's a good sidetrack, like you are your mother's daughter. Oh. (laughs) Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. What do you love about your mom? Um... Bobby Houston, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Houston. She is, um, I don't, I, I just, I I, I don't know. I love her so much. She is. What would you say (laughs) in terms of like the story of Hillsong Church and what that thing became, how important was your mom's role? More important than I can articulate. She both of my parents are um, very gifted in different ways. And um, my dad is um, very visionary, um, very, <laughs> uh, very intuitive. Um, Cheeky. <laughs> yeah. Um, Welcome our new youth pastor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's, you know, my mom is, she is a homemaker. Yeah. And so mm. your experience from the moment that you step foot on a church campus or in any sort of gathering, whether that's around a table in a Bible study or, you know, a church service, every single moment matters mm. and, is, and is thought out and the intentionality in that. And so it's about creating that sense of home. Um, and, I, and that's not just creating space, but it's a spirit thing. Yeah. Yeah. She's very prophetic 
I was about to say that. And creative. Very, very much so. 